Hello everybody, welcome to the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is part two, Silver Ridge Peaks. We've already started the first mission, a rocky start. We're going to continue with the, the poison chalice, the water area is poisoned. And let's go. The new bow I love. There's only one annoying thing in the game that I notice that keeps happening is the noisy birds, man, keep chirping real loud. That is so annoying. They need to turn the birds down, especially them ones up close. They're, they're very loud. You'll hear it in the stream sooner or later. They come, especially when you're on the ATV. It, I get so tired of here and I mute my TV at times to say the hell with it. Makes the game not, you not want to play the game long. But I, I am going to show everybody later and it's going to be called Silver Ridge Dino Top Track. So, he's, we're not going to really hunt any. We're just going to put these signs up. As you can see, there's a destroyed campsite. Oh, it looks like some track. I will recommend that you, when you do go across track, especially if that's a feeding zone. That was a pronghorn. Take a look at the water. If I hadn't told you, would you suspect that the lake was No. Not really. Looks pretty clear. Looks beautiful. But I tell you, contaminants are very hidden. We might not be able to monitor the lake 24-7, but at least now people have been warned. Thanks for taking care of that. It's such a strange feeling to be publicizing the very issue that is hurting us at the moment. I know it's the responsible thing to do, but it's still self-sabotage. Our summer season has already started, and normally this whole area would be covered with hikers. That was a white mule deer. I've only seen a handful of people in the reserve recently. Or I'm sure that things will pick up eventually. But every day I'm reminded that my dad was the major driving force behind this place. It's just bad timing, I suppose. We'd had yeah, some got other issues with one of the board members, but that's in the past. The best thing to do is to keep pushing forward. I've got some big plans to help turn things around. Who knows? Maybe we'll have this place at full strength by the time my dad gets back in the saddle. The poison chalice. I'm talking a lot about family stuff, aren't I? I suppose work and family are the same thing for me, you know? I've been watching my dad do this job since I was a kid. Let's change the subject, shall we? I've got a job that I'd like you to take care of. The big plans I mentioned before. One of these plans is a little passion project of mine. We're going to need some gear. Repelling gear, actually. I have stashed a few bags in one of the nearby outhouses. And I'd like you to head over there and pick them up. When you can. I've been doing oh yeah, that's a good blood trail. Years or so now. It started with bouldering and rock climbing while I was on a high school trip. Last year, uh, I got an accreditation as an instructor, and I was planning on teaching classes. When my dad got ill, I put it on the back burner. But now, I think we have a good opportunity to commit to it. Unfortunately, I'm a little too busy to teach classes just now. But one of my base jumping friends, Sammy, took the same course as me, so she's going to lead the class instead. So see, animals aren't leaving tracks again. <clears throat> I hope you get uh, uh, a big rack of sight to behold. And the 
hope Expense of World watches my videos and can see the errors. I think I've even seen a couple of seven pointers out here before. It's not, not leaving very good tracks, is it? Again. See, there's no tracks. You guys got to do better than this. I see him there. He didn't go far, but my goodness. The tracking system is still goofed up. And them loud birds. So the reason I shot that is because it was kind of white looking. Light gray, I guess. Elk. Bad hit. Oh, not too bad. I like how they stutter now. All right, let's go ahead and go on mission. Now the next mission, we got to go up here to this uh, waypoint. Let's see, where is it? Okay, up here to a hut. The gear is in here. I packed it into a couple of backpacks. It we'll probably just do two missions. Maybe three. I yeah, will maybe do three. How convenient. Those mountain goats aren't easy to catch. There's some good anchoring points at the top of the rock face. If you can get those ropes nice and secure, it'll save Sammy some time and help the class. There's the bison. Shame we can't use a lure to get them big, big boys to come up here. <clears throat> yeah, I will be doing the Silver Ridge uh, dinosaur. There's a dinosaur track. And of course there is a marker and I'll show you where the marker is and everything and I'm gonna make that video next and just call it Silver Ridge Dinosaur Tracks and show you the location the whole nine <clears throat> everything I could have driven the four-wheeler over here it would have probably been a little little less lengthy but that's okay we see a turkey or something, we'll let him have it. It's too close. So I see her rock climbing place right over there. Yeah, we'll just do three missions. And I'll just let it play on because Truth be told, I've wanted to start an extreme sports group here for a long time. But the old chairman of the board pushed back against anything that wasn't hunting. He was very old fashioned though. The patriarch of the Sipkins Electronics Empire. He even forced his vegan animal rights activist son Timothy to come with him on hunting trips to Africa. Accused the activist of brainwashing his son. <laughs> the family reputation around here dropped quite dramatically when my dad caught Timothy drinking and dealing drugs inside the reserve. Simpkins can actually use his power on the board to keep my dad quiet. But the next time my dad caught Tim in the reserve, he wasn't just dealing drugs. He had been poaching. Dad called in without even telling Simpkins senior. Of course he was furious. Tried to get my dad fired, actually. But all credit to the board. They stuff with my own man. All these changes I want to make will hopefully account for the loss of the Simpkins' money and influence. This is just a start, too. I'm proposing snowboarding and extreme skiing for the winter. 
I've got some friends who I'd love to invite over to shoot some videos. Could be fun, don't you think? Oh yeah. Anyway, if the repelling goes well and makes a little money, I think the old folks on the board will start to come around. High down low. Done. Hey, so listen. There might be a situation going on at the moment. I can really use your help to check it out. It's not just gold and silver mining that took place out here. Even more recently, there was a working uranium mine in the area. When the reserve was established, we took responsibility for keeping it safe. Anyway, the old uranium mine is very rarely a problem. But recently, it appears that one of our neighbors, a guy I went to school with actually, has been spotted camping out around the mine. His name is Bobby Joe Jefferson. He's normally just a nuisance, driving his quad bike around and setting up little shooting ranges with tin cans. Can you head over to the mine and see what's going on? The hunting thing. This will be the last one we make. Now here's the thing. Um, I uh, I got a friend of mine. Me and her, we went ahead and found a whole thing. We shot some turkeys over here. But when you open the whole map up, it makes it very, very easy to do this. So right here is the area. So I'm just going to go to the waypoint and once we get this done we'll uh, we'll stop for the day there's plenty more coming i i do want to show you i do want to after this one i want to kind of quit and let it all play out let you listen to that before we move on and uh you know that's there's an advantage about unlocking everything you can get to all the missions quicker I don't even know which one goes where. It don't really matter to me. I, I make my own roads. Unless it's a big mountain that I can't go over. Hear that annoying birds? Hear that? Please get on the horn and uh, say something to them. It is so annoying to hear that bird. And sometimes that's all you hear is chirp, 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 chirp. I mean, really? They, they, they had that on there before. Another time that people got onto them, they took it off. And some of, someone's an annoying pain in the butt over there. They, either someone's a pain in the butt over expensive world or they're, it just seems like they, I don't know, Take three steps forward and ten steps back. Uh, so I, all I know, I drilled that tree dead center, didn't I? Oh, I probably killed me. No, I'm surprised. Probably didn't kill me.
mine itself is still secure. I think. I don't really understand what's going on with the cameras, but at least the entrance is secure here. Let's go find his camp, shall we? Another trail camera. Bobby Joe doesn't have a permit to hunt here. Is he poaching? It was actually Remy that called this one in. He doesn't know who Bobby Joe is. But I knew who it was as soon as Remy described him. <sighs> Hopefully that's the last one. Pick him up and I'll put him in our lost and found when I can take him from you. Reason I put that up there, there's a reason I put that up there. That stuff is tough to climb. There's a reason I put that tent up there. I'll be coming back up there. You never run into nobody in this game. I gotta go back up there. <laughs> A beaver fell in your tree. That's funny. All they want to do is put a sign up. The sign's back up, but let's not take any chances. Me and my dad have been dealing with Bobby Joe for years. But this is new. I know I see no sign, did he? But I always felt sorry for him. He had a pretty tough upbringing. I don't want to call the police, but I have to. He's armed and known for making poor choices. That's an excuse, though. We're making bad choices. So there it is, a dangerous reaction.
people wandering in the wilderness without a clue of how to survive if things go wrong. Not, not that there's anything wrong with that, of course. And based on a couple of phone calls I've had from the hospital today, I think that someone has made a mess and could use some help. I was going to check in on them myself, but I need to coordinate with the police on this Bobby Joe thing. And you're already really close by. Can you head over to the campgrounds nearby and check in on them? The phone calls were sporadic at best. As far as I can tell, this professional yoga and meditation expert has led a group of accountants from Denver into the wilderness on some sort of spiritual retreat. She took their cell phones away from them and had them eating wild flowers and berries. Some of them got sick and had gone directly to the hospital. I know that we're not the reason why this happened, but it could look very bad for us if anyone gets seriously hurt. I'd appreciate if you could hustle. Check it out. All right, there you go, my friends. There's three of the missions. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, please stay tuned. We will be doing the dinosaur tracks, and I'm going to show you on the map exactly where they're at. It'll be called Silver Ridge Peaks Dinosaur Tracks. So I'll give you a hint. It's of course over here on Dinosaur Hill, but where? I'll show you. I'll show you. Trust me. It'll be Silver Ridge Peaks Dinosaur Tracks. So you got to take a picture of them. And that's how you get the trophy. But it's kind of like a little Easter egg. But I'm going to show you because no one has a video about it. No one has made no video. So I'm going to make the video and I'm going to show the location of it. So everybody, thank you very kindly for watching. Comment, subscribe, like, dislike, whatever. Comment, whatever you want to do. Thank you. Have a good one.